Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to see a transistor which works as a switch. So let's get a quick overview. So we know that a transistor or you can say a BJT, you can know, you know that transistor can either be BJT, CMOS, etc. Right? So in this video, we will see how BJT acts as a switch. So in this image on the left hand side, we have a common emitter uh, transistor where we have NPN BJT, okay, and the, the emitter is common here. The input is supplied at the base terminal through RB and the power supply VCC is applied at the collector. So we know that we, for input, uh, the voltage input will be provided as VBE and the output will be connected as VCE. Now BJT can act either as a switch or it can act as, as an amplifier based on the region of operation. So BJT can either act in active saturation or cutoff region. If BJT is acting in cutoff or saturation region, okay, then it is acting as a switch. Now what is a switch basically? A switch means you can either turn on or turn off, okay, based on the input voltage. If the BJT is on or off, that is if BJT is in cutoff or in saturation, that is if BJT is open circuit or closed circuit. Okay, then you can see that BJT is acting as a switch. So, when BJT is in cutoff, what is happening? Uh, now, let's assume that the input voltage has the negative cycle. Okay, so input is, giving as ne is given as the negative cycle. So, what will happen? Emitter, this is an NPN junction, right? So, emitter, which is an N type uh, port, is connected to ground, and base, which is a P type port, is connected to the negative cycle, which means BJT is reverse biased. Now, if BJT is reverse bias, what will happen? It will happen. It will act as an open circuit, and whatever supply we provide VCC, the same will be seen as an output VCE. So, in this circuit, when input is low, output is high. Why? Right? Because the output is same as the power supply VCC. Now, let's see what happens when BJT is in saturation. So, when there is a positive cycle of the input, what will happen? The BJT will act in the short circuit means BJT will be forward biased. Now when BJT will be forward biased, what will happen? Whatever current IC is flowing will be the maximum current also known as the saturation current and that current will flow directly through the emitter because BJT is, BJT is short circuit. Okay, BJT is acting in a saturation and what will happen? The output will VCE will approximately be zero or idea basically we call it 0 0.2 volts. So what happens when we have the positive circle, uh, positive cycle of the input? BJT becomes forward biased due to which the current IC is the maximum current known as the IC set, okay? And uh, the output VCE becomes approximately zero. And this has been depicted through an image here where we have an input voltage. When the input is low, the output is high, and when the input is high, the output is low. So whenever we have a negative cycle or the uh, low cycle of the input voltage, BJT is in the cutoff region and V out is the VCE. And when we have the neg positive cycle of input, what will happen? BJT is in the forward biased. We can say BJT is saturation and V out is approximately 0 volts. So now let us try to construct this thing in the LT spy software. So we will create a new schematic. Okay, so first of all, let us try to instantiate a BJT. For that one, we will go to the component. Okay, here we will say NPN. So let's take an NPN transistor and click here. Now you can right click here and select what kind of a transistor you want. So you can go to pick new transistor. You can select any one. Okay, I am selecting this one. You can also do experiment with any transistor of your choice. Next, we want RB and RC. So, we will take first resistor as RC and then we will take another resistor as RB and we will place it here. Okay. Then finally, we want two voltage sources. First voltage source would be the input voltage source connected at the base terminal. So, we will take a voltage. Okay. We will make it where this is the input voltage source and second voltage source is connected to the collector terminal which will be the power source okay finally we will have a ground connected at the emitter junction 
let's try to connect all these things through wire okay like this then we will connect input voltage to base rb to transistor and finally emitter now we will also connect all the negative terminals of the voltages to ground like this so this is now my circuit is completed let's try to uh, provide the values okay so this is my input voltage v1 is nothing but my input voltage so let us take a pulse input voltage let me take v initial as 0 v on as 5 we don't want any delay 0 0 uh, let's try to keep it on for 10 nanoseconds or let's say 10 milliseconds so if it is on for 10 that means it is off for 10 and the complete period is double that means 20 milliseconds okay uh, let's try to take vcc as 12 volts okay vcc is 12 volts now the value of rb let's take uh, we take uh, r value rb value as 10k a large input uh, our large base resistance and R1 we will take as let's say 220. Okay. So now we have the complete, uh, you know, circuit. Now this is my input, this is my output. And now let us try to simulate it. Let's click on run. We will do the transient analysis. So let's try to run it for five cycles. Since 20 milliseconds is the time period for one cycle, for five cycles it will be 100 milli. Okay, so for running this, I will take one more plot plane. So right click on this black window and add plot plane. Okay, what will happen? Left click here and first in the first plot plane, we will select an input. Okay, we will take the input. This is my input. Now for the second one, we will take the output coming through this. Perfect. Now let us try to analyze what is actually happening here. So, I told you that when we have the V input as positive, okay, when you have the positive cycle of the input voltage, BJT will be in the saturation region. Why? Because there will be a forward bias and the entire IC will go into the ground and the output will be zero, approximately zero, right? So, at that, let's try to right click here and or you can also yeah let's try to see how much voltage is there actually so yes approximately 0 0.122 volts okay and that's what i told you right you can you get either 0 volts or 0 0.2 volts that's what how we know that when we have the input voltage as high the output is low now let's see what is happening when we have the input as negative or low so I told you that you have the negative cycle of the input, the BJT will be in the reverse biased. That means however, whatever VCC you provide will come as the output. And you see here, right, how much voltage you are seeing? We provided 12 volts at VCC and we are getting the same thing as the output, exactly 12 volts, right? So this is how you can validate that how a transistor VJT acts as a switch in and how it operates in the saturation and cutoff region and uh, how much voltages you get when it acts in either of the two. So, yeah, uh, you can ask me any questions in the comments below and thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.